As an instructor, you're going to want to access the class list in D2L in order to get a hold of your students, see their S numbers, and view their progress. So let's go ahead and check that out. And down here, you will see that there's a list of student names. This area where you'll see their S numbers. Right now, these are all fake, but in your course, you'll see S numbers. You can see a few of them have been blocked out. And then you also have this information on when they last accessed the course. If I want to email a student individually, I just need to click on their name. It'll open up an email window. I can type my email, upload documents, record audio, and more. Be aware that this email is D2L internal email only, so it's not going to go out to their personal email or even their, their official student email. It stays and lives within D2L. They have to be able to get into D2L in order to respond to it. Vice versa, if they go into their class list and click on your name, that email is only going to live in D2L as well. It's not going to come to your morgancc.edu address. So be very aware of that and let students know how you prefer to be contacted. If you're okay with being contacted through D2L, you can tell them that, but make sure that you're constantly logging into D2L so that you can see what, they, what information they're sending you. So one thing I did want to warn you about is let's say you wanted to send an email um, to people who haven't yet logged into the course that need to log into it before it starts affecting their grade. I can look over here to la last accessed and I can see all these blank boxes mean that these students have not accessed the course. You're going to be tempted to come in here and click on all of those students and send them an email. The problem is, is that it's going to send it to all of them, but they're going to be able to see who else got this email. So this is a violation of FERPA because then you're telling John Wayne that Ronald Reagan is not accessing the course either, which is kind of showing them the status of each student in the course. So instead, you want to add it to BCC, but there's no easy way now to add all of their names to BCC. So don't be tempted to send out an email. Now, if you're sending to the whole class, that's fine because then everybody gets the same message. But something like that, you're going to need to make sure that you're sending it to each student individually. Now, if you were sending an email to all of the class, like a welcome email, then I would check this box here to highlight all of the people in the course, then click email, and then send it that way. To uncheck all of the checked ones, you can click the same button to get rid of it. One thing is, is that if you want to check on the status of each student and what they've done, you can click on this action drop down menu. And this is where you can view their profile and view their group enrollments and their blog, which if you have groups, you might come here. Most people don't have a blog, so you can play with that if you have it. But most of the time, you're going to probably come here to view their progress. So let's see what Winston Churchill has been up to in this course. So he has received four grades, and this is where you can see the grades and the feedback that he's gotten. So if there was any feedback in here, it would show up here. And then most of the time we're looking for, you know, have they participated in the discussions that you may have created? Have they added anything to the Dropbox or the assignments? Have they taken any quizzes, etc.? And then this is also showing the course access and the login history. So if a student is having a hard time in class, this is a tool that you can use in your discussion with them to say, I see you only maybe log in once a week, and we recommend that you log in at least once a day. Um, or you can try to keep track for attendance reasons. Um, so there's a lot of different information you can glean from this, uh, and you can jump to each of those sections via this sidebar here. Last but not least, Sometimes you can only see 20 people per page because it defaults to that setting. So I've had that happen before where I've had too many students and I only think there's 20 in there and I'm only checking on those 20 um, in the first like week of class. So just make sure that you come in here and if you have more than 20, which I hope you don't, but if you do, make sure you change it to whatever number will work for you. This indicator right here is a new addition that helps people to see that if this said 29, then you know that you're going to have a second page. Also, if we did have a second page, you would have a, a page arrow option down here to be able to go back and forth between your pages.